Good morning, everybody. This is Carlos the Running Jackal. Just about at the one kilometer mark. Heart rate a little high. Just finished a nice, strong cup of black coffee. In fact, my second of the morning. Now I'm all wired and ready for this run, the ascent of the summit. Make the most of the cadence. Make the most of the cadence now because quite soon it's going to be a hike to the top. I can see the antenna from Robin Wood Drive, Mount Douglas is staring back at me in all its glory. Looking pretty dry out there. All but in the winter and spring is either green or yellow with broom. The Scotch broom is now straw colored. Parched. There is an extreme fire hazard alert. Seven oh nine per kilometer. I think I set an overall pace of eight and a half minutes today. But as I say, very soon I'm going to be hiking. Good morning. Good morning. As I cross the weir, I will run. I will run pretty much every step that I can without pushing the limits too much. It's supposed to be an easy day today. Zone 4 is pretty hard. But as I say, that's just the excitement of starting on a well caffeinated morning. We're running through the tree graveyard as I speak. They've tidied it up a lot. Almost two minutes ahead. I have done this exact route. I believe I did it on Thursday as a hike. I have about five routes that I use regularly throughout the week, either as runs or hikes or walks. My walking continues to get better. My running is improving slow, slowly.
that's about right, zone three. Until the gradient kicks in. This zone is purely through my effort on the flat. Pretty soon I turn up towards the road and then I cross the street and continue up a little goat trail. All right. All right, first hike of the day. Lots of activity on the podcasting front once again. Throwback Thursday from Kevin. One or two shows from Jim and Associates. I think one. Basically a hundred minute job with Anthony. Alright. I have crossed Cordova Bay Road. I'm now heading up. One forty seven. That'll get whittled away pretty soon as the hike begins. I'm getting excited already about the new season of your five minutes. I think the consensus from last season was that theme-based shows are good. I just have to try and think up themes that are not too constrictive, if you know what I mean. Obviously, if you want to talk about hamsters, go right ahead. We're all anxious to hear. But... uh, Otherwise, I'll try and pick themes that might cover a lot of topics. Okay, shoulder to shoulder. I'm making contact with the bushes on either side, briefly. I'm heading up towards Norn and Irvine. I can run this. This is not too steep yet. It'll get steeper soon. This is another major intersection. Heading on Irvine. Past the swampy area, which is now Dust Bowl Drive. Pretty soon I'll be on the transponder hill. One morning. Alan and I were running down here and we found a little two-way walkie-talkie thing. So we call this trail the Transponder Trail. Okay, Tom. I was just going to say that the next bit is the steepest ramp. It 
It's about 7.30 in the morning on Sunday. I'm going to have to cross Churchill Drive in a minute. But as you know, the street, the road is closed until noon. So there won't be any vehicular activities other than bike people. Okay, this is really quite steep. One minute fourteen seconds ahead. Time eighteen minutes. Distance two point twenty five kilometers. Work out average pay seven minutes fifty six seconds per kilometer. So thirty four seconds ahead of my kilometer pace. All right, I can run again. across the asphalt and on to the other side of the trails. We're a few seconds ahead still. Even if I get into negative figures on the ascent, which I more than likely will, I can work back on the downside, uh, on the easy stuff, I should say, because some of the down slopes are equally challenging, trying to remain Vertical is the order of the day. You've already heard me trip once this week. Twenty one seconds ahead. Twenty one seconds ahead. I would imagine I'm in zone three. As I continue to climb, having trouble speaking now. I have my sunglasses flipped onto the top of my head. This is shaded and deceptive. I remember now I have to I have to crawl under one minute. Distance two point forty five kilometers. Work out average pace eight minutes thirty four seconds per kilometer. Okay. To crawl under a couple of trees. This one is about four and a half feet above the ground. And there's another one just coming up. Still waiting to hear from Chris, his post-Burning River 100-mile podcast report. Six seconds behind. Six behind. I do have my good camera with me, so I'll try and do justice to this 
run, if only just for a title photo for my podcast episode. So, my last show was Elk Lake Revisited. This one could be Mount Doug Revisited, but I think I've used that title quite recently. Not that it really matters. One thirty nine behind. So I've gone from being two minutes ahead to one thirty nine behind. Okay. I'll be running again in a second. Be it cautious. Running, foot placement is everything here. Hello. Hi. She was coming down from the summit. One minute, 59 seconds behind. So now I'm two minutes behind. It's funny how at the beginning of the workout stats flip around so much because they're averaging a much smaller field of numbers. It's easy to knock off time at the beginning and see instant results later on when you're in the six and seven kilometer range, everything averages out to being a much smoother curve. I reckon I'll be three minutes behind by the time I summit. And then I'm gonna take Glendening out down from the lookout, down to the uh, main intersection with Whitaker, and then out of the park via Harvest Lane. So far so good. I am very hot and sweaty already. I miscalculated the temperature. I grabbed my hoodie. I grabbed my hoodie as I left the door today. As I left the house, it was chilly. But now... I have two layers on my upper body, which really I only need short sleeves. Oh, glorious. It is too early in the morning to take a picture where I normally do from here, but it'll only be a duplication of the one that I took on Thursday with worse lighting. Uh, that view is due east and the sun is just a quarter of the way.
the sun is pretty low in the sky, so anything looking towards the horizon to the east would be completely bleached out by the light. I mean, you can get some good effects, but you really have to set your camera for it. Because these semi-smart devices, if you put them on automatic, they will automatically try and find the best photograph for you, which is fine if you're patient enough to wait for the little chip to do its work, because uh, it's trying to adjust the lighting and the speed of the shutter and focal length. Sometimes all you need is a quick point and shoot without all the calculations. Because in the middle of a run, you don't really want to stop for too long while your camera decides how to take a picture. Yep, I'm taking a slightly wider route today. I could have reached the summit already, but uh, I'm having too much fun hiking these hiking these gnarly trails. I'm actually using both my hands to get a good vantage. I can hear people up ahead. Yep. And I can see the antenna looming above the tree line. When you get near the top of a mountain and look up towards the summit, you will notice that there is ever more and more blue. It's not just it's not just a fake summit. Okay, so I'm way behind. But as you can tell, there's not a lot of running going on up here. Almost there. Those two hikers taking a little break. I should see them again in a second. By rights. It's a bit of a maze of trails up here. That's another way you can tell when you're near the summit. All of a sudden there's a lot of secondary trails where people have gone to explore. I'm going to see those women again now. They are already going down, and I'm just heading up to the top. Hi. Morning. All right. Five minutes, 58 seconds behind. So I have five or six minutes behind. We'll see how I can chop that down. I've still got about 
three kilometers of downhill. If I really wanted to speed up, I would just go back down the road, but that would be kind of boring. I would take Glen Denning all the way down to Harvest Lane intersection. Seems hard to believe that on Monday and Tuesday I was still up island working for a living. minutes per kilometer to knock off in the next two kilometers. So we'll see how that goes. Any time that I'm moving quicker than ten and a half minutes, it'll be reducing that number. But every time I stop, it'll be adding digits to the second counter. I will take the camera out once I'm past all this dangerous stuff. I've got the voice recorder in one hand. I really, I really don't need to. I really don't need to uh, drop my camera even though I am thinking of replacing it. It has served me very well. I've been very happy with it. Best $130 I've ever spent on a camera anyway. All right, almost through the boulder field. Luckily, these boulders are attached to the ground. They're buried at least shoulder deep in the ground. A bit like the Easter Island heads. Oh dear, it's getting worse. Might as well take a picture while I'm at it. Excuse me for a second. I have resigned myself to not being able to get back to my pace setting, but c'est la vie. I didn't bring my camera not to use it. One of the reasons that I might replace this camera is because it has a a lens shutter protector. It has a lens protector. There's a new sign. new sign that I haven't seen before. They're building a little side trail here which avoids going through the sand gully but you know it's just going to cause erosion on this side of the trough and people are going to start straying over that way but they have put in some steps here so may I be one of the first to use them. Oh, yep, they've been working up here. I can see the bucket of debris. Oh, another picture coming up. I'm just going to take a picture of this new branch trail. Uh, 
and the new steps. All right, now I can put the camera away and knuckle down to uh, trying to get back on pace. I think it's a lost cause, to tell you the truth. But, you know, I'm going to run as fast as I can, within reason. This is all new granite that they put down here. All right. So now, it should be uninterrupted glory zone, right from the very, very top. Nine minutes. Eleven. My goodness. Oh, there's some people. Hello. Good morning. And the car stands out. Oh, this is where the work crew have parked their little tractor device. Not a bad assignment, really, if you're a park employee, to come here and build a side trail. But kind of irrelevant. It's not really necessary. understand if they're trying to make it more accessible but there's nothing wrong with the, the sand gully okay so there you have it Down, 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 all the way. And now I have to try not to trip at this speed. It would be a little more serious if I did a Superman. Jogger coming through. Thank you. So pretty soon I'm going to have to take my little left turn. I think it's just here. Yep. Yeah. And then Harvest Lane, Majestic, San Juan, Toki Drive, and I'm home. So I think I'm probably going to say bye bye to you now. I still have some of Jim and Anthony's show to listen to. It's a long one. 100 minutes. Eight minutes, eight seconds behind. Eight minutes behind now. Good. I could get down to about nine minutes average today. I did pick a particularly steep ascent to the summit. I think I will call this episode the Irving, the Irvine Ascent. Sounds a little bit like Everest. But uh, there you go, I'm lucky enough to have a small mountain on my doorstep, which I will always be eternally grateful for. And this is where I ruptured my Achilles. Hello. It's 
So this is the running jackal leaving the park of pleasure. Bye-bye.